Hey guys, welcome back to the Girls Mechanic Team channel. In today's video, we're going to be learning about the motor oil. It's probably the most important aspect of the car, and that's why you need to know all about it. We're going to be covering why the motor oil is so important, how often to change your oil, how to check your oil levels, and basic tips and maintenance that I usually tell my workshop attendees. To get started, we're going to pop the hood open. And This latch over here and you just want to pull it up like that. To pop the hood open, like I always say, try to put your hand a little to the, to the right side of the logo and feel for a latch or lever that you can push up to the left or down. So for the, in this case you just want to push it up and make sure you're holding it with both your hands not the tip of your fingers. And this is the manual one. So we now that we have the hood open, the engine oil cap is located over here, and this is the engine oil dipstick. So you need to know the three main functions of the oil in the motor, in the engine, and number one is it helps lubricate the engine parts, number two it helps clean out the engine parts, and the last thing is it helps cool down the engine's combustion process. So to check the level of your engine, you want to first turn off the car, make sure the car is parked on a leveled ground, as you can see over here. Next, you want to pull out the engine's dipstick, which is usually has a yellow or a red plastic component to it. You want to pull it out and just clean it as the first step. As you can see here, we have the first dot indicating our min line, the top dot indicating our max line, and what I always say when you have when you check for your oil levels, you want to make sure it's in between or towards the maximum line, not below it and not above the max line. So after we've cleaned it completely, you just want to put it in carefully all the way through. And when you pull it out, you just want to make sure that you raise your hands and not twisting the dipstick itself. And just bring it up to your face level and as you can see, our oil level is towards the max line. So I say to repeat this process about two to three times just to make sure that your reading is accurate. So now I'm going to show you what not to do when you're checking your oil levels. So doing this and rotating it upside down is going to make the oil level drift backwards and that's not going to give you an accurate reading. So you want to make sure that when you lift it up that you're lifting your arms up and not rotating this just so that you're at the same level so you're able to read it properly. Now that you've checked your oil levels, let's say that you've seen that your oil levels are low and you want to refill or add more oil to your car. So to do so, you have to do it from where the oil cap is located. So to know what oil your car needs, most of the cars or some cars have it written on the cap itself. In this case, it's 0W20, but you can also find that in your owner's manual. So when you're putting in new oil, you always want to use the funnel, just because I've had this actually happen where I poured in the new oil and it actually leaked through all the way to the bottom and the next morning I thought I had an oil leak because I found a huge puddle of oil underneath the car. So let's say that you're topping off your oil. Right after topping off the oil or replacing the engine oil, you want to turn on the car and let it run for a few seconds. This will automatically allow the oil to go through all the parts so when you, get an act so when you do check the oil levels you're getting an accurate reading. So turn off the car, come back, and do the exact same steps I showed you to check your oil levels. So the most important question is how often do you replace your engine oil? Now this can be a really confusing question because every source will tell you something differently. So what I recommend is to follow your car's scheduled maintenance guide. This will give you all the services that you need to do and when you need to do them. So let's take a quick look here. Service 2, as you can see includes replacing your engine oil and oil filter and how often you do that or when you should do that get service to done is after 12 months or 16,000 kilometers but that also depends on how often you drive the car so you really need to check this and just follow what the car owner's manual tells you you know when to get your oil changed you want to know what type of oil grade you want to put into your car well, you have synthetic synthetic and you can also have conventional which means regular oil. I'll leave a link below to what the difference is between those but usually synthetic is just a better performance for the engine itself. So to know and to understand what each part of this means I'm just going to go ahead and explain that for you. 
So the first two numbers refer to the viscosity when it's cold, and the last two numbers refer to the viscosity when it's hot. And the W stands for the winter, which means that the oil is functional in the winter season. If you don't know what viscosity is, you want to think, think of it as how thick the fluid is. So water would have very low viscosity, and honey would have very high viscosity. The lower the viscosity when cold, the more fluid the oil is at low temperature, which means it moves more easily and it's better and easier to start the engine. The higher the viscosity when the car is hot or when it's hot, the more viscous the oil is. Now that you've got all the oil basics covered, I just want to give you one last tip that can help you in the future. I always tell the attendees in my workshops to always check and take a look underneath the car when they're getting out of their parking spot. So let's say that you've seen a puddle underneath the car and you're not sure if it's oil or just any other fluid. So what I say is always go down to the puddle that you see and tap on it with your finger. You just want to test if it's an oil-like material or just a normal fluid which would be another aspect of the car. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any comments or recommendations, just leave that in the comment below and I'll get back to it. I also have a video on how to change your oil, which I'll leave in the description below. Thank you. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with anyone that you think will find this helpful. Bye.